look at what precipitated some of the 2008 financial crisis, you saw a number of bilateral bespoke non-reported uh, transactions happening between financial counterparties, which then got repackaged and re-leveraged again and again and again, such that no one knew how much risk was in that system until it all fell apart. If you compare that to what happens on FTX or other major cryptocurrency venues today, there is complete transparency about the full open interest. There is complete transparency about the positions that are held. There is a robust, robust, consistent risk framework applied. And we're excited to work with the CFTC on our uh, US licensed and regulated venue um, to bring a lot of this. Uh What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Nico Scotty, a.k.a. Sir Stick a Lot, man. And we're going to get started right away. Hit that like button because the donkey of the year is SBF, man. Like, if you guys don't know, FTX is a was l one of the largest crypto exchange that was owned by um, SBF, Sam Bankman Freed. And... Everything that he said in that video that everybody's doing, he did the exact same thing. So that's why he's donkey of the year. And let's see exactly what happened. So around November, the beginning of November, there was a lot of FUD going on. And basically, uh, Binance just uh, jumped on that FUD. They, people were saying that the balance sheets of FTX looked a little bit fishy because they were really close to... Uh, Alameda Research, which is a trading firm that helps start up FTX and literally it's like all the owners or whatnot, they're all like in cahoots or whatnot, just to make a long story short, right? And um, CZ, who's the owner of Binance, he basically said that, you know what, we're going to sell all our positions in FTX, more specifically the FTT coin. And I'm just summing this up for you guys uh, just because I want you guys to really understand what's going on. So when he said that he'll sell them um, because of all these rumors, FTX went ahead and said that they'll go ahead and buy these coins. And this confirms everybody's FUD, everybody's suspicion that there was a little bit of fishy business going on. And he denied the offer. Once the offer was denied, the price went down and basically FTX, Alameda, they went in a position of liquidation and they could not bring the funds to cover those uh, cover the liquidation crunch as they would call it uh, because they were misusing the funds of all of the customers but you guys probably know all of this by now if you don't just go ahead check out my article right here everything you know, need to know about the downfall you'll get a better under understanding of it right so since then there's been an interview that came out for Sam Bankman Free and one of his quote unquote buddies, they just leaked all the text messages or Twitter messages um, about Sam's response to all this. So let's get right into it. You said a lot of stuff about how you wanted to make regulations, just good ones. Was that pretty much just PR too? So SBF responded. There's no one really out there making sure good things happen and bad things don't. Usually there's one toggle do more or do less and yeah it's just pr fuck the regulators they make everything worse and they don't protect customers at all sounds like him right uh does it seem like kind of customer consumer protection would be good though like maybe regulars ca regulators can't deliver it but sure it does look like consumers lose their shirts a bunch agreed on both it would be good but regulators can't do it so here's sam just basically trying to you know say that it's not his fault this is something that normally happens but i don't know what world we're living in where people just lose eight billion dollars every day right and you couldn't do it cv sure isn't do it so who and basically saying that no one will do it and now he's wanna you want to know the truth no one's doing it in rest of finance either so basically he's attacked in uh fda all the banks and everywhere where cash is regulated and saying that like we shouldn't be trusting banks at all and this is what we've been trying to tell you guys get off of all these centralized exchange and 
Get yourself a ledger, man. Like now, SBF, who's the owner of one of the largest centralized exchanges, or at the time, is now saying that it's a bad idea for people to be in control of your assets. Crazy, right? So, I'm not going to read through this whole thing, but it's just crazy. He's basically saying that he didn't mean to do this. Um, he also willingly behaved unethically. Um, trying to make something happen it, it's just a, it's really confusing to me um, and, and it's just crazy but the moral of the story is I've been trying to tell you guys do not buy crypto without a ledger by any means possible you should not get on a centralized exchange unless you really need to uh, and I, I don't see the reason that you might ever need to unless like maybe the coin isn't sold I, I, I don't know it doesn't make any sense if you don't have a ledger, you don't have a hardware wallet. Just basically, you want to be decentralized. That's the whole purpose of crypto, whole purpose of Bitcoin, right? So just go ahead, check out this article as well, and make sure you guys get a ledger, man. I even put a whole YouTube video about my unboxing, and it seems like now people are getting a message because Ledger had a re record week of sales, and they went up by 300%. Uh, Safe, which is another hardware ledger, they saw $800 million of inflow today. And Zango had a triple digit growth as well. So, dude, get 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 a ledger, get a hardware wallet, and, and just stay away from decentralized exchanges because it's real dangerous. And I know that FTX affected a lot of people, but I'm still bullish on crypto, man. Check out this Medium article here, and you'll see that, yes, there's a lot of FUD going on right now about crypto because of Sam, and people are thinking that, hey, told you in the first place, we, we shouldn't trust crypto, this, that, and the third. Yes, yes, all very much might be true, but brands right now, they're buying the dip. If you look at this chart right here, I think we're in this position right here where everybody's angry at SBF and a lot of people are kind of depressed, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people lost a lot of funds. There's $8 billion that was taken away from customers, man. So prayers out to everybody. But companies like Nike, they're buying the dip. They got in. They got their own platform, Dot Swoosh. You got um, Sony. Sony is investigating how to integrate entities in their in-game platform. So that's about to be crazy. Apple as well. Um, Apple Pay now gives you access to buy um, stablecoin USDC. So that's going to be lit. And Reddit, if you guys didn't know already, Reddit has their own marketplace as well. They're called Digital Collectibles. And everybody's just going in on crypto. Not to mention Disney, Instagram, and Starbucks, and many more. So I know it's a lot going on. That's a quick update, but really the main point of this video, man, I want to put an emphasis on it, guys. Get a ledger, man. It is very necessary to protect your assets and to make sure that you're in control of your assets, man. And that's about it for this video. I hope you guys learned something new or got some ideas about what's going on. Let's not give up on crypto yet, man. We, we still here, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for rocking with me.